Hi, my name is Kevin Smith and I'm an Agilent Applications Engineer. <clears throat> this is part two of Agilent Logic Analyzer Basics, Analyzing Data. In the previous video, we, we saw how to set up um, the signals, the acquisition mode, and the trigger. Now we're going to look at, and we caught some data, now we're going to look at analyzing that data. There are two basic windows that are always on by default, though certainly they can be turned off. The quote, waveform window, and the listing window. We can get that there from here, here, or back in the overview tab, simply clicking here. And um, if we click on show, we get into the waveform window. This is kind of like a scope at this point. Um, time versus uh, sample values, bus values. We drag this down, we can expand it a little bit. Here are, there's a time control, quote, knobs, like you might find on a scope. As we zoom out in time, it gets all scrunched up, not terribly useful. But we can also expand all the little bits and see what they were individually. Okay? Again, you know, we can look at these in, in detail versus time. And again, this was in timing mode. Okay, we don't want to, but what, what is this device really? If I right click on this, on the My Bus 1 signal, I can scroll down here and go to View as Charts. Click OK. And now I can see that really what I have is a, count, is a counter. And in timing mode, we see lots and lots and lots of little glitches. Okay, so that's pretty nifty. Again, from here, we can do a, quite a bit of things. Um, we can add a new row and just look at an individual bit uh, before or after, vertically up and down that is. We can overlay various um, uh, channels. Um, <clears throat> and let's see, where is it? Ah, this is what I was looking for, sorry. We can also change the base, binary, opt, decimal, sign decimal, ASCII, and so forth. So if we change to ASCII, there we go, 254, 255. Okay, so for example, I can <clears throat> insert row before and simply, basically duplicate it. Okay, and I want to view this guy as a chart. And so, I get both my chart view, as I zoom in, I get my chart view, and I get my <clears throat> um, decoded or ASCII view. Then, we have all these markers. Okay? Uh, the trigger marker is, all, is pretty much always, the, is always at the center. And as we move the markers around, you know, it gives us the various positions. This is also put up here. I can add new various new time interval measurements um, from trigger to M2 and so forth. Um, lots of uh, things that we can add in here by right clicking all over the place. So I have trigger to M2 gives us this delta time. There is also the binocular or search function. So I can, if I set this up, I can, for example, uh, search forward from display center or beginning of data, end of data, trigger, M1, M2, and so forth, and just look for you know, specific bits, uh, the entire bus, various bits, uh, with various, quali various qualifiers, uh, time, um, ranges, transitioning, and I can store favorite searches, and so forth. Um, lots of options, lots and lots of options. And then the uh, binoculars will do the, la the, the binocular forward, binocular last. We'll search for the next and last of the last search event that we defined. We can skip to the 
um, end of data, beginning of data, trigger, or just move, pop along a little bit at a time. And of course, as I already showed, we have the little scroll bar. We can add markers, uh, go to markers, uh, add measurements, um, and so forth. That's the real short version of analyzing uh, data, uh, data in the waveform window. In the listing window, um, it's very, very similar. It's pretty much exactly the same, except it simply, simply gives us um, uh, sample numbers and bus values and timestamps. Okay? Um, <clears throat> we can, again, change the base. And we can insert new columns before left and right. For, so for example, if I would always wanted to see what the um, uh, bit zero was, we can simply add that. And again, we have all of our search capabilities uh, in the listing window. We can also add multiple waveform windows. Uh, we can write, we can click here and duplicate or um, rename or change properties. Um, there's quite a bit of, uh, of features in these tool sets. So I'm trying to keep this video short. Or we can go window, um, <clears throat> yeah. So if we right click, we can also do a new, um, new waveform window. And we can add uh, add or remove buses to this window. Just depends on what you want to see. Again, we can also we can also do that with the listing window, and so forth. Um, and that really concludes this this section of uh, Logic Analyzer Basics. Uh, next video is some some somewhat advanced features for the Logic Analyzer. Thank you for your attention.